Course Objectives Upon successful completion of this course, you'll be able to configure and manage the Unitrends Backup and Recovery Solution. Utilizing the Unitrends Web User Interface and Command Console via SSH, you're also going to learn how to apply Unitrends Best Practices for data protection and recovery. Meet Tom Jackson, Unitrends Lead Trainer. Prior to course start, complete the Unitrend Certified Associate Program. It's required. We call it the UCA. You're also going to watch all the UCSA course lectures. Those can be found in the catalog or inside of the UCSA track itself. Once you've watched all the lectures and completed the UCA, you're going to verify your virtual lab seat has been acquired or purchased. We're going to talk about that in more detail in the next slide. But then you're going to email training at unitrends.com whenever you're ready to start. We'll talk about that too more in the next slide. Now remember, content is free to all customers and partners. But the hands-on training labs, they need to be purchased. Contact your Unitrends account manager or partner to register for the next hands-on live session. Now classes will start every week except for holiday weeks and students will be notified if off for a holiday and will be enrolled in the next available class. Now the first day of class is Tuesday, labs open at 2 a.m. Eastern and last day of class is Friday. They close at 10 unless your class is designated to be hosted in your time zone, all times are Eastern by default. Now your PO, your quote must be submitted with the Unitrends Opportunity with an official training SKU, whether it's a promotion SKU or the real sysadmin training SKU. You have to have a purchase order and a quote and opportunity go through for us. Now when you're ready, the student's going to email training at unitrends.com when you're ready to attend that next upcoming class that Friday prior to when you're ready to attend. Now the training coordinator will submit a hands-on lab request for the following week after verifying the training opportunity has been submitted and confirming that you've done all your pre-work. Now, once you get that invitation, you need to confirm and accept that invitation for the UCSA instructor-led training class check-ins. They're going to be from training at unitrends.com. Now, if for some reason the student's unable to attend for any reason, they have until that Monday at noon, the week of their class, to let the instructor know that they need to rebook for a different week. Now, rebooking is not automatic. They will have to start with a new, new email when they're ready to go. So if you need to wait a couple more weeks, whenever you're ready that Friday before, you'll send that email that Friday before and say, hey, I'm ready to go next week. We'll let you know there is class and we'll order you a seat and we'll send you that calendar invitation. This is kind of the course schedule and how the flow works here. So once again, you've got your pre-class, your pre-work. You're gonna do the UCA, you're gonna watch the UCSA lectures, and you're going to acquire and send your start date for your email. That Monday, you're going to check in with the instructor, either via Skype or email or give me a phone call. right? Or give the instructor a phone call, whoever the contact is for your instructor of your class. Probably will be me. Now note you have until 12 p.m. once again Eastern to accept that email invitation and confirm your seat. Or you can cancel and rebook and there's, there's no fees or anything to, re, to do that. On Tuesday at, at 2 a.m., that's when your labs open. So you're going to start watching the tutorials on Tuesday at 2 a.m. You're going to do the labs and watch the tutorials and start going. And you can start before we check in. Check in, depending on where the class falls, the majority. Usually it's at uh, t 11 to 12 a.m. So we can get the West Coast folks in a reasonable time in the morning as well, too. Uh, maybe first thing they check in and then the Eastern... Uh, coast, the uh, East Coast folks, they uh, get to uh, work for a few hours and then check in. All right, but you're going to keep watching those tutorials and completing labs throughout the day. Every day we're going to do those daily check-ins throughout the week. They get more and more advanced as we go out throughout the week. We'll talk about that 
in another couple slides. All right. Now, your labs close Friday at 10 p.m. Okay, so you got to get all your work done before 10 p.m. on Friday. And then if you need to, after class, you can finish watching any course lectures and tutorials that you might need to go back and refresh on. And you're going to come back and complete the final certification exam as well. Now, by watching the UCSA course lectures from the catalog or from your track in small chunks over time in advance, you'll have more time to process what you're learning and reduce that listening fatigue. And it allows yourself more time to view the UCSA course tutorials and do the work assignments and lab assignments and participate in those discussions during the week you actually attend that instructor-led UCSA hands-on class. The resources you're going to use to complete the hands-on course, you're going to use video lectures and tutorials. They're used to access course lectures and tutorials. That's the videos you're going to use for the majority of your content. It's free to all Unitrend's customers and partners. You just need to click on your My Training or Training in the Partner Portal or Customer Communities. If you don't have an account, you can self-register and create one. By now, you guys all, all do or you wouldn't be here. Now, the hands-on labs, they must be acquired or purchased. We talked about that earlier from an account manager or a Unitrend's partner. There is that virtual lab, the student assignment. We're going to give you that lab access code, and you want to go out and make sure you test. You're going to see that in the Accessing Your Lab tutorial. You're going to see how to test and make sure you can get to that URL. Make sure you can get to the unitrends.webex.com slash meet slash tjackson. That is going to be our virtual classroom or the classroom system that we use is Webex. Make sure you can get to the Webex on the browser, whether it's me as your instructor or, once again, it might be someone else as well, too. Now, if you do have Skype for Business and you do allow external content, on that Monday week of class, you can send me an intro message. We'll talk about that here in a few more slides as well, or you can email it to training at unitrends.com. Now, please note that this is for class questions only. They're not our technical support line, and it's staffed by the instructors from usually 8 in the morning until about 8 o'clock at night or so. We do really recommend that you have two monitors, to view your lab environment and the instructor screen or your lab materials side by side at the same time. It's really a detailed class, a lot of documentation, a lot of research on your own, pulling up the admin guides and doing your work side by side. Really helps if you have multiple monitors. Also make sure you set up a distraction free learning environment for the week of class too. If that means working from home or an isolated office, maybe you're in a big cubicle, go to your management, go to your team and say, hey, I need an isolated a uh, closed environment for this uh, distraction-free environment for this training while I'm attending it. It really helps out so you can focus. Now, Skype or email your introduction to your instructor. We talked about it a few minutes ago to training at unitrends.com. Let me know your name, who you work for, and give me a little snapshot of your experience. How long have you been in IT? What's your background? Networking, servers, desktop, software, support? How did you get started? How far back do you go? Give me some of that background. I love hearing some of the stories out there. You know, if you're old military like myself, um, you know, let me let me know. You know, what's your backup and recovery experience? You know, are you are do you have experience with Dado, EMC, Dell, Veritas, ArcServe? You know, backup exec, Aperture, Veeam, Acronis. You know, that list goes on and on. We want to know what kind of backup experience you have prior to taking this class as well too. That does help. And also, do you have any Unitrends appliance? experience do you manage any appliances currently today it really helps us out and make sure you have some students in the class that already have some knowledge and it really helps to kind of challenge those students with some more advanced uh you know uh, verbal assignments and and questions during the check-ins and challenging them a little bit more and i like to make sure i identify those students coming through as well too Tutorials and labs, they're, they're completed in a certain order. We've strategically ordered these modules based on time to complete the labs. You know, try not to work ahead. It's highly recommended you stay on schedule when you're setting up your backup jobs especially. You can't put all the load on the system all in one night, even though you might be fast enough to get all the schedules done and all the configuration done in one day. In our lab, it's too much. You'll start to see that as you go through the actual tutorials and we do our first check-in. For the first day on Tuesday, we're going to go through system configuration and asset management. And we're going to start to 
do a little bit of, of application configuration with Exchange SQL and SharePoint. And we're going to set up our file level backups. We're going to let those run overnight. And we're going to come in on Wednesday and review those and troubleshoot and take a look as a class together. Then on Wednesday, we go through the Oracle backups and NAS backups. And we set up virtual hypervisor snapshots on Hyper-V and VMware. And then we configure hot and cold backup copies. And then we get all that done on Wednesday. And by Thursday morning, we review and troubleshoot anything else we have left over. And then the rest of Thursday is all day recovery. Some great stuff, great learning uh, objectives here. Um, some great experience labs as well, too, going through file level recovery, NAS recovery, win bare metal, win instant recovery, Exchange SQL, Oracle, SharePoint, all the application recoveries. If you, if you need to focus on anything, take that experience home. Focus on more of, of one over the other of these. And we also have virtual recovery with Hyper-V and VMware, doing file and folder and instant recovery on both of those as well too now Friday is really a, a flow over day for Thursday you can do a, um, a lot of leftover stuff you couldn't get to recover on Friday you can focus on it because there's really no handwritten assignments or labs for Friday um, for the UCSA there is some videos to watch ongoing administration some advanced reporting and backup copy and, and hot and cold copy recovery um, but really a lot of extra time is, is built into Friday to allow you to play with more recovery because Thursday's recovery is really important. You can go back and focus on anything else you, you need to from Thursday. Now discussion session ground rules. For our check-in sessions, you want to make sure you're punctual. Show up on time. We're going to start right on time. A lot of content to get to. Make sure you're there and make sure you're participating for the maximum benefit. Ask questions. Be involved. We do have to make sure we keep the discussions on track as well, too. You know, you got to kind of ask yourself, would this question benefit others? You know, and if not, you got to kind of pursue it on a one-on-one -on -one via chat or email or phone after the daily check-in or before on your own. Big one is we're going to see a lot of people with different levels of skill sets in these check-ins and going through class together. You got to kind of treat everybody with respect because there's a lot of different skill sets and a little, little different uh, experience levels uh, as people go through these classes in groups as well, too. But I really look forward to meeting you guys in class and getting you guys up to speed on the new Unitrend stuff and uh, making you guys great system administrators. Welcome to the class.